Do you know what is nasopharyn cancer? Nasopharyn cancer is usually originate at the curved part behind the nose and is caused by Epstein Barr virus. It's been stated that 1 in 4,000 people are diagnosed with nasopharyn cancer in Malaysia. According to the National Cancer Registry, Nasopharyn cancer is the second most common cancer in Malaysia after the lung cancer. Besides, Chinese has the highest number of nasopharyn cancer cases among Malaysians in 2007, followed by Malay and Indian. Meanwhile, males are said to have the probability of three times higher than females of being attacked by nasopharyn cancer. Apart from the presence of Epstein Barr virus, consumption of fermented fish products, preserved food, exposure to toxic fumes, and tobacco smoke can also be the common causes of nasopharyn cancer. There are few early symptoms of having attack by nasopharyn cancer that can be observed, such as bleeding nose, hearing problems such as ringing and tingling in the ears, and also blocked nose. As the disease progresses, you may observe or experience a few more critical symptoms such as numbness in the face, coughing up blood, loss of hearing, having double or blurred vision, and also having difficulty in breathing. Nowadays, healthcare provider may offer you to undergo several convincing treatments even though there is no ultimate cure yet. You will have to undergo radiotherapy if your cancer is diagnosed to be in stage 1 or 2. This treatment has a cure rate of more than 90%. However, if your cancer is already in critical stage 3 or 4, you will need to receive a combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy. This combination therapy brings a cure rate of 60 to 70%. After undergoing the cancer treatment, there will be several serious side effects result from the therapy. The side effects include dry mouth and loss of taste, loss of appetite, and difficulty in swallowing. However, some of these are only temporary until the treatment is complete. Early examination often offers the best chance of survival. For this reason, you are highly recommended to get an early diagnosis if you ever experience any of the symptoms. At the very first stage, a full ENT examination will be held by a specialist. If swelling present in the nasopharyn tract, a biopsy will then be indicated. This is done by removing a small piece of tissue sample to determine the presence of cancer cell. There are also other several tests that can be carried out to determine the extent of the disease and to find out the best way to treat it. These include CD scan, MRI of the head and neck area, and also X-ray.